Hey family, it's Action Jacqueline, your fellow alopecia princess, and I thank you for tuning into the Alopecia Princess channel. In today's video, I want to share with you guys a product that can be used to add volume, fullness, and body to your existing wigs. By no means is this a new product. <laughs> this is a product that's been on the market for probably decades. I've just never used it. Clip-in hair extensions. I have been using wefted hair to add fullness and length to my wigs for years. But I've always sewn them in. And by sewing them in, what I noticed was that I was buying new hair all the time. This way, with these clips, I'm able to add the hair to the wig. And when I'm done with the wig, I can just pop these suckers out and use them in my next wig. I bought these from my local beauty supply store. Hang on one second and I'll show you the package. It's this brand right here, Old Beverly. Uh, it says it's 100% human Remy here. I won't lie, I'm not in love with this product, but I'm going to continue to use it um, until basically I can't use it anymore. These clipping extensions, they come just like this, out of the box. They come with these little clips, quite secure. Um, I haven't had issues and they come in little pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the video that I took while I was installing these clips. You guys let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Good luck. I've only ever practiced this technique with a wefted cap wig, like the one I'm using here, the Zero Wig by John Minow. Once I've determined where I wanna place the extensions, I go ahead and part the wig to clear the area for installation. Very carefully, I'll use the wefts within the wig to anchor the clips into place. The combs on the clips don't always grasp the wefts entirely, but it's important that they do to ensure a secure installation. You may have to play around with it a couple of times to get it right, but it's worth it in the end. Complete installation of four pieces should take less than 15 minutes. 20 if it's your first time. And there she is, a complete installation. Nice, smooth, and undetectable. Hey, I'm back. All right, so I installed all of the clip-ins, a uh, total of four for me. Hopefully I caught enough footage so that you could understand it, but basically I just used each weft to secure the um, clips into, as you can see. I put one as close to the nape as, of my neck as possible, and the others, I made sure that I applied them behind the ear tab. Ear tab would sit here, so I tried to install the clip-ins right around here. This way, when you run your hand over the top of your head, you're not feeling the bump that uh, the clip-ins will leave inside your wig. They do leave a slight little bump. Um, as long as you position them properly, they won't get in your way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her on so you can see just how different she looks. Anyway guys, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe you wanna try the same technique at home. I 100% recommend it, especially when your wigs start getting a little old and they start losing a lot of fibers. This is a good time to install these wefts. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.